Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with um, 2019 Top Clearly Authentic Baseball 20 box. Pick your team number seven. I think this is our last case for, at least for now. I didn't see any more. But big thanks to these folks getting into it on the 12th. And there's everyone out here. Paul, Dodgers guy, sad like me, <laughs> gets the Dodgers. Last Bob Mojo. Got a good crew in this break right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. I mean, it could be, Brian. Brian we, we were just talking a little bit about the Dodgers' shortcomings before we started this video. And uh, Brian O's mentioning, hey, listen, maybe this is the Nationals' year. They, they'd certainly have looked good in the first couple games. Wait, this is Archive Signature Series. This is not clearly authentic. These are very similar boxes. Sorry, guys. So this is the Archive SIG series that I accidentally opened. Sorry, they, the team needs to mark these cases. Hang on a second. There we go. This is the right one. I think. I hope. Yeah, I, I was like, I was like, we don't have any more clearly authentic. Let's try this one. There you go. So the real clearly authentic. Pick your team number seven. We might get some more of this stuff. Who was caught? Was someone caught napping? Only caught the tail end of that play. All right. First, out of clearly authentic, pick your team seven. I'll try to get some more of this stuff. We've got Jose Canseco. That's for the A's, Shahadi with the Oakland Athletics. And we've got Brandon finding Nemo four out of five. Nice. That is for the Mets. Armando with the Metropolitans. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Oh, so it was Judge that caught a fly ball and then hosed the guy at first. Got it. It's a clo pretty close game so far. 
Nice Juan Soto, 21 out of 50. Is this the Nationals' year? We were just talking about that a few moments ago. Levi with the Nationals. Brian O was saying earlier, if Hader would have closed out that Nationals wild card game, then the Dodgers would have whooped on his Brewers. But see, here's the thing: then then the Dodgers just would have been exposed in the NLCS, so, or worse, go to another World Series and then have the Astros or the Yankees crush the Dodgers bullpen. You that's why I'm saying it's good that the Dodgers were ousted now in the playoffs. Nice Yusai Kikuchi. Mariners, Peter with the M's. Nice autograph there. Next up is, I, I love these T206 designs right here. That's really cool. That's five out of 10. That's Rick and Keel. That's pretty cool. I saw Fox had a great, um, I think FS1 had a great story, like an hour-long special on Rick and Keel and everything that he went through, all the anxiety, all that sort of stuff. And then how he came back. I mean, I think some people forget. I, I certainly forgot about that whole story. Levi Johnson with the Cardinals. Nice one for the Redbirds. Here's 15 more boxes to go right there. Yeah, had a bad case of the yips. There's Jose Martinez. Another card for Levi. And then made it back and had it was a decent like outfielder and hitter for for a little while. There's Kristen Stewart, 89 out of 99. Not to be confused with the actress. That goes to Zachary and the Tigers. Next, we have Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez. 71 out of 75. Nice one for the Rangers. Shahadi with the Rangers. Nice one for Texas. Wow, Granky only has 62 pitches through six innings. It's pretty efficient work. He's facing Judge. And there's Burt Blylevin. That's for the Twins. That goes to Conrad Boats. Another T206. And it's Ricky Anderson. The card has slid up towards the top right there. Shahade with the A's. It's four out of five, though. Nice one. Nice Ricky Henderson. All right. Next one. Good luck. Um, that's actually at the end of the month, Logan. Unless it gets pushed back on the 30th, I think. There's Jesus Aguilar, Brew Crew. Is that gone? Glaber Day. Takes Granky Yard, Yankee up, Yankees up 2 nothing. That goes to Brian O. And the Brew Crew. Yankees up 2 nothing. a solo shot. 
That went far. <laughs> that went very far. Over that that tall left field wall, and then a few rows in, it seems like. 400, 343 feet seemed further. There's Max Muncy, Mad Max. 29 out of 50. That goes to Paul. Dodger Joe Mojo. Dodger Paul Mojo. He had a great season. Max Muncy had a great season. That was, that was great for him. Yeah, Mr. LA thought Judge was going to hit the home run. He, he felt the home run was coming. I mean, Granke is in the sixth inning. I love Max Muncy. Mad Max. Go get it out of the ocean, Madison Bumgarner. We got Brand Lau, 73 out of 75 for the Rays. That's going to go to Conrad in Tampa Bay. Yeah, that's right, Big Rig. Last spot, Mojo, 60% of the time. It hits 100% of the time. It's true. The stats back it up, folks. <laughs> go check Go check case-breaking advanced analytics. It's there. Paul DeYoung. Nice, man. Cardinals need to get that offense going. Otherwise, it's going to be it's going to be brooms for them. Levi with the Redbirds. Got to make it interesting, Cardinals. You don't want brooms. Let's see what we got here. Five, seven out of, I can't even talk. Seven out of 25, Mike Trout. I don't expect to see a lot of Mike Trout. Uh, that goes to John McCall and the Los Angeles Angels. That'll cover the spot and then some. Nice low number too. That is strong. There you go, John. Picking up the Angels. And being rewarded in clearly authentic Pick a Team 7. All right, final five boxes. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Final five. Another Christian Stewart. Rookie autograph for the Tigers. That'll be for Zachary. Sorry, I'm going to have to go back. It's just a second. Um, I heard a story on the radio that Paul DeYoung had hit a home run and hit the, the big Mac land sign, I guess, out there in left field to Shattering the M, and he he bought it. He donated some money to charity for like for buying it. But he has the M now that he broke, and so now it just says Ackland. I just learned that today. Knowledge. Next one is Cedric Mullins to seventy-five. That'll be for the Orioles. Leonard Yance with the O's. Three more autographs left. I mean, I think you, yeah, you heard that too, Brian. I think, I think the money ended up going to charity. I think he bought when he bought it off them. Sorry, I broke it. Um, but uh, they should not replace it. Kyle, right? No. I thought I saw on TV that it's still Kyle Wright. Nice Kyle Wright for the Braves. Kyle with Kyle. Kyle F gets Kyle W. There you go, Kyle. Did they replace I thought I saw on TV that they didn't. Or maybe that was a replay from back in the day. I don't know. Anyway, they shouldn't have replaced it. That way, generations upon generations can, can point there and say, that's where Paul DeYoung hit home run. Ah, broke the M. Ah, broke the M, see? We got Matt Olson. Speaking of M's, Matt going to Shahadi and the A's. 
Sean says, yeah, see, Sean says they haven't replaced it yet. So that, so what I saw was, was a current image of that area. They shouldn't replace it. I saw Paul de Young in the 2000s. In the 2000s. He broke the M. Never seen anything like it. All right, and the last one, ladies and gentlemen, is Bing Carlton Fisk. Nice way to end it with a with a Red Sox legend. Ten out of twenty-five, old Fisky they used to call. Him. I don't know if they used to call him that. Uh, Roger Eastwood with the uh, with the Bow Sox. There you go, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. After a false start there, that was 2019 Top Clearly Authentic Baseball. Pick your team number seven from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.